Okay. Uh, something new I'm starting. This is uh, Mafia 2. I'm going to be doing a let's play of the story, then Jimmy's Vendetta, and then maybe Joe's Adventures. So, uh, let's just jump right into this. We'll do easy. Because. Because. That was a really quick intro, but this is one of my, like, favorite games. I really like it a lot, but, uh, it's a good game, too. I've, it's, like, good story, and, uh, I haven't played Mafia 1, I guess. I, guess, I think that's what it's called. I haven't played that, but, um, this game is really good. It came out in, like, 2010, so roughly four years ago. Call it three because it's March of 2014. My name is Vito Scaletta. Main character. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. That guy's pretty funny. American dream was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, see, don't hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! It's a big bag. Stop! Where are you? Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Put your hands on the... Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Man, that was a long cutscene. <laughs> Oh boy. I haven't played this game in a long time, too. So I'm gonna be a little rusty. I was assigned to the 540th Parish Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flat. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when most of the soldiers came into town and started rounding everybody up. <laughs> that guy was pretty goofy looking. <laughs> now 
we're gonna get into it. All right, Oh, get down, dude. Oh, he didn't die. Ooh, face. Alright, let's go. Got... How do you run? Oh, oh, oh! I really like third person shooters, like RPGs, too. I, I dig the third person aspect. Oh, oh! <laughs> so that's one reason I like this game. Toss grenade. Why'd they have their like, grenades like, open? <laughs> Next to a machine gun. But anyway. Oh, we're gonna pick up that. Uh, we got an SMG now. There's a guy over here. Boom. Oh, oh. What is that guy doing? Get down. Well, he would have died. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, reload, reload. Maybe I should... We... Oh, that guy's dead. Oh, no. Oh, I get it. We get to get on the machine gun. Blow up that truck. I think we have any ammo. No, we have unlimited. Oh, blow that up. Take out these guys. And we're just going to town. You think they would, you know, stop running at me when I've killed like a dozen of their friends or their comrades? You think they would learn? Oh, they got a tank now. We'll get a nice little cutscene. Oh. If that shot where the machine gun was, that would have definitely killed us. Nice unit, bro. That guy. Ew. Don Carlo, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. I wonder if that's true. I wonder if that actually happened. That'd be cool if it did. Oh, I mean, you know, for the Americans, or the Allies. <laughs> Jeez, I'm not reading that.
Oh, okay. Lower that. Okay. Chapter 2. That was chapter 1. That was easy. Not all the chapters are that short. Two years later, so it's 1945. Oh, it's February 8th. It's my birthday. Not in 1945. In like 50 years. 52 years. later the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit. And then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Oh, there was the man himself. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sauces. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Alright, that's gonna do it for this part. Thanks for watching.